Hey, it's Kathy, and I'm sort of decided to sort of keep vlogging. Um, I'm just gonna do it as I feel like it. It might not be daily, um, but I will keep doing it. So, yeah. Today is the last week of TAFE, and then I'm on holidays for four weeks, which will be awesome. But it's, um, it's the working with children framework and legal and ethical working with children and things like mandatory reporting and prescribed agencies and all that sort of stuff. So it's not super exciting. In this one week, we have two tests for it. We have one tomorrow and then we'll have another one on Thursday. So I'm really cramming it in. <laughs> uh, apart from that, I got home and I was just really wiped out. I had a really rough morning. Um, sometimes this thing happens where um, <clears throat> my insomnia just, you know, it, it gets to me a whole bunch. And some mornings it just, or some nights, sometimes it just, like, my body will go to sleep and I can't move my body, but I am awake, completely awake. I'm completely aware of everything. I just cannot move myself. So... Andrew had to help me, you know, he had to help me move to wake my body up so that I could get up and go to TAFE, because I couldn't get up, I just couldn't. So, that was kind of rough, it took forever, it probably took about 40 minutes, so I ended up being a bit late today, but no big deal, it was only, it was only like by 10 minutes, but um, I bought a USB, I finally bought it, um, EB Games sell these and they're like 20 bucks but they have a sale on and I mean they always have a sale on but they have like a big sale on for a little while like end of financial year sales are happening so that's been awesome um but yeah it was nine dollars marked down from 20 it's an 8 gig USB how did Spider-Man because I'm an adult and I use my money to buy adult things, obviously. <laughs> and I got some more needle wenders, which I have to take off the card still. But So I have this one. Yeah, don't stick to the other ones, please. This one, which is like a fandom one. So it's Harry Potter in the middle there. The top is Percy Jackson. This one down the bottom is Shadowhunters. And there's Mockingjay for Hunger Games. And um, the fire is for Divergent. Which is really cool. All the things I'm into. I got the supernatural demon ward, possession ward. I love, I love supernatural. Got this really cool Loki one. It's just his helmet. And I got a Victoria Francis vampire one. She's really pretty. I like that one. And those are from No More Lost Needles, who have a group on Facebook, which I will link below. Um, yeah, so I bought more needle minders. I keep telling myself, stop buying needle minders. Um, these ones take a little while to get here sometimes, um, just because her supplier is sometimes a little slow with getting the orders to her so she can convert them to needle minders. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't mind waiting. She does a really good job. I've never had any problems with them, as opposed to the horrible needle minders that I got from one place. They were somewhere in America. I can't even remember the name of the group now because I left. But they're these bottle cap ones. You see, they're quite large, and they even like the bottle caps and stuff. Like they're plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. Yeah, they've got the images in them and stuff. The, the plastic over the top, which is fine. But you have this tiny little magnet on the back. You know, like, it just doesn't, it, it, like, you, unless you put the needle there, it doesn't hold. Like, yeah, I'm not a fan. I, I like the, I like the ones that Lisa does from No More Lost Needles. Because even her small ones, small ones have a fairly small magnet, but it takes up most of the space. And her big ones have a bigger one. So she uses different size magnets depending on the size of the badge, so... Um, that means they're all magnetized. Like I have my bat one as well, which 
again, magnet. So, yeah. I like those ones. I don't like the bottle cap ones. And I'm, I'm actually pretty sure I'm just going to put them on the fridge at some point because they're not needle minders. So I can't use them as a needle minder. And I didn't get anything else, did I? No, I got a book. I found a book to Andrew. It's like a you know, meditation book and stuff. Because he's turning into a hippie. So I was like, hey, hippies like to meditate. Have a book. So now I'm just going to try and do some stitching. I so, so unmotivated. Um, I finished the Wizard of Oz frame for the Storytime Stampler. And I've started the frame for Charlotte's Web because um, I can stitch in class, so you know, I get a little bit of extra stitching time there. Um, a Star Wars one, I've got the two guns at the top. I just got to put the handles, um, the end bits, at the ends of the guns, and a little back stitch part for the handle, like the trigger. Handle trigger. Um, and then, then there is a ship of some sort that goes in the middle there. I don't really know Star Wars that well. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I've seen the three original movies, not the newer ones, but I yeah, didn't care for it. Um, but then R2-D2 goes down here, and the pattern has two Millennium Falcons, but they're gonna be switched to at ATs. So, I really have to get done on that. Um, also, I have tags to film too, so I should really do that too. Um, yeah, so I'll do this one now and I might do the other one later in the week. So, this one is the unnormal tag. This was by Fishy Cross. Um, so what is the strangest place you've ever stitched? At a pub. Um, my housemate and one of his mates decided they were going to go for lunch uh, at one of our local pubs and they were going to go watch the UFC pay-per-view that was on, because um, they're both into UFC. So myself and my other housemate tagged along. Yeah. I'm not into UFC. I don't care. I used to I used to do the whole wrestling, you know, WWE thing back when I was younger, but I don't like it anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, I, took, I just took my stitching, yeah, I had a nice lunch, chilled out, stick some stitching. Yeah. Um, next favourite hobby. I have a few. Um, it would probably be gaming and reading that would come up next, like an equal sort of spot. Um, after that would be photography, which I don't get to do as often as I would like, unfortunately. Um, and then it would be painting, colouring books, drawing, yeah. Um, I like I like to paint Warhammer figures as well. It's just a really really expensive hobby that I've stopped because, dear God, the prices you pay for that sort of stuff in Australia is ridiculous. To smoke or not to smoke? I don't smoke. I have, I mean, I have sinus problems and um, narrow airways because of those sinus problems, so I have trouble breathing normally. Um, Sometimes when I talk, you might be able to hear that I'm a little bit, it seems like I'm out of breath, or short of breath. That is the case. Like, I, I have trouble breathing. What is your favourite social media to share on other than YouTube? Um, I'm really bad with updating stuff. Like, I'll be really good at updating stuff for a long time, and then I just space on it. Um, but I'd probably say a combination of Facebook and Instagram. Um... What I usually do is anything that gets posted on Instagram also goes to Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. So, yeah. At least there's something coming up on them. I'm just not really good at updating. And I always forget to put, you know, like, hashtags and stuff like that. I get lazy. <laughs> um, have you ever model stitched or do you model stitch? I should. I have a few of my own designs that I should model stitch. But I can't be bothered. So... Um, I am doing one, which is not exactly a model stitch, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person stitching it. I've done, like, shit all on it, though. I feel really bad. Um, although I do have to get some more floss. Like, I'm missing a few colours. So that's one of the reasons I can't get a bunch done at the moment. Um, 
wash or no wash and do you iron your works um if they need to be I will um <clears throat> I will not wash hand dyed fabric I will not wash anything with hand dyed floss um I will iron them because I don't actually know but I just use the kitchen bench I don't know if we have an ironing board we probably do but I don't know I only just worked out how to use the iron to be truthful I'm not a domestic person I mean that sounds horrible but it's that whole thing where you know even today women are still sort of expected to know how to iron and clean and all this sort of stuff I'm just not that domesticated I I can cook I can clean up I don't know how to iron I just can't do it um, but yeah um, I iron them if I have to and what I do I just get kitchen bench lay a clean tea towel down um, depending on the size of the project and then put a tea clean tea towel over the top of the project put the project down and I just iron it but I don't think you can iron things with beads in it though can you I don't know I'll have to suss that out because I have two projects that are going to have beads on them one will be alright I don't think one of them will need ironing but the other one probably will might have to iron it before I do the beads I'll work it out um, what digital programs do you use for stitching? At the moment, nothing. <laughs> um, I've got the Foxit Reader thing on my phone, which I've sort of played around with, and seems like I could do it. Um, having to mark it off using a stylus is kind of annoying. Um, I need to get a better stylus, I think. I think that's the big problem, because what I have, right over here, it's got a really... I dropped it. It has a really fat ass. It is a really big stylus tip. I don't know. I'll have to work that out. And what do I do with my finished projects? Some of them get frames and put up on my shelf. Um, I can't put anything up on my wall here because we're renting. And some of them, most of them, end up in the drawer that I have over here, just next to the thing, um, which is my completed projects drawer. And they just stay there until, hey, look, I've got this frame for it. I'll put it in there. Or, hey, I need a present for someone. What do I have? So, yeah, they just live in a drawer, basically. Uh, like, unless they're already put aside. Like, unless I've already said, oh, I'm going to give this to someone. So, yeah. Where'd that freaking stylus go? I don't know where that freaking thing went. But, um, that was the last question for that. Um, there's also the, I think it's the curiosity tag. Um... But I'll do that one later on. I had the question saved on the computer somewhere, so I'll do that. And yes, now I'm going to probably try and do some stitching, watch some shows. Um, Q&A is on tonight, so I will be streaming and watching that and probably going off on Twitter. Um, it'll be interesting. I hope it'll be interesting tonight because um, Gillian Triggs, who's our Human Rights Commissioner, will be on the show so it will be very interesting I get the feeling so anyway <clears throat> I will talk later but then